Hey guys, for all the details on this boho knotless unit from Eon Hair, keep watching. All right, guys, we're starting off with the unboxing. So this unit was sent to me from Eon Hair. It is a human hair boho knotless braided wig. Came with a pack of wig caps. And I'm just sliding it out of the bag, taking the netting off as well as the paper that's in the inside of the unit so we can take a look at the construction. I'm going to get more into the specs of the unit a little later on, but this is a full lace unit. We have adjustable straps in the back, four combs in the inside, baby hairs, and this unit is 100% human hair. It is braided throughout. All over, there's braids. Really nervous about installing this unit because I have never done a full lace unit, but the knots are pre-bleached. The hairline is already plucked for us. There is a little work to do on this unit and I am super excited to install. All right, guys, so I have seen this type of wig on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and I am so happy that I have got my hands on one of these. So here is the unit. You saw my unboxing already, but just look at the texture. Look at the texture. Okay, so I'm gonna be installing this unit. It is a full lace unit. I have never installed one of these today, so we are going to be learning together. I'm gonna to go ahead and take this off the mannequin head. And as you can see, I already have on a wig cap. It's just a nude wig cap. Um, so I am going to start by taking off the lace off of, that was my comb. I'm going to start by taking the lace off of the back of the unit. So I'm going to start just right here, just making a little incision there. And I'm going to cut off the lace right here in the back. So just cutting it straight across. I mean, I guess you could cut jagged if you wanted to. And usually I do a voiceovers with my installs, but I'm just going to try to talk myself through it. Sometimes it just helps if you say things out loud. So I'm just going to try to talk through it with you all. Okay. Okay. So I have the lace right here in the back cut off so far might need to cut more but I love that this unit has adjustable straps even though it's like a full HD unit it still has the adjustable straps in there um but yes fully braided a boho wig let's get into it so I'm just going to go ahead and put the unit on my head I don't think I'm going to be able to install any of the cones because well maybe the back one we have a back one and then um is some like in the middle. I don't think I'll be able to get to those, but let's get into it. So I'm just gonna place this on my head and I have my hair blade, braided very flat here in the back. So, okay, so we are secure here in the back and immediately I'm in love. <laughs> immediately, immediately. So I probably could have cut more lace here. Let me just measure. Okay, so this is right. I need to come up here. I'm just gonna cut right here so I know like where to cut the lace. Okay, I'm gonna take it off one more time. Okay, so now I know at least how much to cut off. Okay, I'm just cutting as close to that hairline as possible trying not to cut any of the hair because if you do you're going to be cutting into those braids okay all right so let's try this again placing it on my head got all the lace here in the hair okay all right so placing this back comb in the back of my head once again and immediately I'm in love again. <laughs> okay, so let me pull this lace forward. Okay, let's see, it's gonna have to come forward a little bit more, but just because my hairline is so low. All right. 
Okay, so we're gonna need to bring it like to here for the most natural. Okay, so I'm going to just cut right here and right here. Okay, and I am going to kind of glue this down. I'm gonna use the She Is Bomb Lace Putty but I'm not gonna bore you while I am drying it, but just to give you all a look, it's just like a putty. And I'm just gonna use the end of my, um, what is this, an eyebrow razor to put it on. All right, so I'm going to kind of speed this up so you're not waiting here forever, but as you can see, just a little bit of this lace putty. Okay, so make sure to put a thin layer of this lace putty right at your hairline where the lace is going to lay. And then you're going to press that lace into the putty, smoothing it out. And I'm gonna use my blow dryer to dry this into place. Only about um, 60 seconds with the blow dryer and you should be good to go. now I'm going to move over to the side and I'm going to do the same exact thing. Actually, first I'm going to cut this extra lace around my ear and I am going to put a thin layer of the She Is Bomb lace putty right there in my hairline with the eyebrow razor. Now this was getting a little hectic. I'm probably going to just start using my finger at some point, but um, pressing the lace into the product and smoothing it out and using my dryer as well as a comb to kind of hold the lace into place and drying the lace with the dryer. Okay, so now onto the other side, I went ahead and put some of that lace putty on my finger, but I forgot I need to cut this extra bit of lace off. So I'm just cutting the lace around my ear so that my ear is nice and exposed. And I'm gonna put some of that lace putty with my finger. I told you I was gonna switch over to using my finger, but I put the lace putty in a thin layer right there under the lace, smoothing that lace into that product and then holding it with a comb and drying it with the blow dryer. All right, so now that everything is nice and dry, for the most part, I am going to take an elastic band with the Velcro on the back and um, just put that on the lace so it can melt and leaving this on for about 10 minutes or so. You can also use the blow dryer to dry it with that elastic band on too, but 10 minutes have passed. I'm taking the elastic band off and I am cutting that lace as close to the hairline as possible, cutting in a jagged motion to prevent any kind of lines of demarcation. And now just a little bit of Sebastian hairspray at the lace just to get rid of that white cast. And then again with the blow dryer just to dry the hairspray. Okay, so now we need to do something about these baby hairs. So I'm just combing them forward. I'm going to clip them down super low. I am not one for baby hairs unless it's my own hair. Then I will do some swoops. But with an actual wig, I'm just not there. I'm not a pro at creating baby hairs. So I am cutting those down super duper short. And now I'm taking some more of that She Is Bomb lace putty and just putting that on those little pieces of hair that I cut down. And I'm going to attempt, yes, I said attempt to do some swoops and baby hairs. We'll see how this goes though.
So at this point, you can completely cut off those baby hairs if you don't want them at all. Um, I kind of wanted something to kind of make the hairline a little something. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to attempting to do some swoops. And I'm going to use the elastic band again to lay these down. Now these baby hairs did not last a good 60 seconds before off camera I did end up just brushing them back. But for those of you out there who like baby hairs, here you have it. This is kind of what it would look like. I'm just not a pro. All right guys, so I went ahead and um, redid the edges because I was not liking the little swoops and all that. So I just wanted it brushed back and it looks a lot more natural so i am uh, gonna go ahead and provide you with all the specs of this gorgeous unit so again this unit is from eon hair it's 405 dollars for this unit but it is 24 inches it is boho box braids it is a wig so we can use it as much as we want to without going to sit in the salon you saw how quick and easy this was i was a little hesitant because i did not know how quick and easy this was going to be to install but it really really was um so this is a hd full lace wig human hair braided wig with baby hair so you saw that i cut down the baby hairs i tried to do some baby hairs i brushed back the baby hairs so me and the baby hairs was gonna have a fight so um this unit comes in 20 inches all the way up to 28 inches so price range is from 352 dollars to 468 dollars for the longest length so they do have a small and medium cap size this one is a medium cap size um, so you can select which cap size you would like. So 22.5 inches is the cap size that I have. The texture is deep curly color is a natural black density is 200 and the lace is HD clear lace. I am going to put a little bit of powder in these parting spaces. So I have two different powders. One is the color 235 Maybelline Fit Me and this one is 330 the one that I normally use. I think I'm going to go a little bit lighter. Now it's looking really, really good right now as is, but I'm just going to put just a little bit, just tap, 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 just to see. Nothing major. Just right there in those parting spaces. And instantly looks amazing. And over here as well. So yeah, that is pretty much all that I am going to do to this unit. So, oh yes, I am gonna do something else. So um, the hair looks bomb as is. Let me turn around so I can show you all angles of what it looks like right now. So of course, front, side, back, side, and front so i'm just going to take a little bit of water and um just spray it on not a lot or anything and i'm not going to put any products or anything in this unit um the hair feels amazing as is but just to kind of tame it just a little bit And that's all I'm gonna do to this unit. This is it. Okay. So I do wanna show like uh, some different styles if I could do any with this hair. So of course this is like the little flip over. Um, the left side part. Let me see if I can do like a, oh, let me do my favorite little style. Just a little couple pieces down here in the front and then a half up half down so just gathering some here in the front and you all know that I do not like me a lace front wig and this is a full on lace wig like all around which is insane to me um, but I'm just going to take the top 
secure with a little elastic band. And then I'm also going to pull up the back too so you can see what it looks like in the back since it is a full lace unit. Okay. Okay, so here is half up, half down. I don't know, it looks kind of wonky over here by my ears. Maybe just because I'm not used to wearing a full lace wig, but um, this is what it looks like. Little pieces here in the front. So let me pull this forward. Okay. But yeah, let me show you all the back. I don't even know what it looks like back there. So don't judge, but here is what it looks like here in the back. Full lace unit. I want to give you a peek inside as well. So here is what it looks like. So it's all of the hair is braided up, but it is a 100% human hair, no synthetic whatsoever. All right, but this is this unit. I'm gonna take this out because I really like it while it's all down. But um, pros and cons. Pros, this is so easy to install. I was really not expecting it to be this easy. And then also, um, we're getting boho box braids. Boho box braids are, are boho knotless braids in this case. Boho knotless braids are like the end style right now. So if I don't have to sit for um, 15, 16 hours to get this style, I am all for it. Um, now it is pricey. I will say that it is pricey. However, um, I have a friend who works in a braiding shop and she says, like for the longer, even longer length, um, they charge $350 for boho knotless braids and you have to bring your own hair too. Like they provide the braiding hair, but you have to bring like the human hair. So again, you're spending over $400 and then that is only for a couple of months with this knotless human hair boho box braided wig. You can wear this as many times as you want to. You can take it off at night. Um, you can wear it just for special occasions. You can wear this on vacation. It's human hair, so you're not gonna receive a ton of tangling, which is also amazing. So I say all positives here. Um, I really thought that a negative was gonna be how difficult this was to install, but it really, really was not at all. So I'm in love. What do you all think? Leave me some comments down below. I'm gonna put everything down in the description box, a link to Eon Hair, a link to this gorgeous boho box braid human hair unit. Um, and yeah, if I do have any promo code with them, I'll put that down there as well. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe, send a friend, and I will see you all next time.